Hi everybody, today I would like to model a pulley. For this I start with a circle with 18 edges, put it in the middle here and make it 100 by 100 millimeters and center everything in the middle. Hit the A key, hit the 3 key to go to poly mode Select this polygon, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in once, shift click, bevel it in again, shift click, bevel it in again, and hit delete. Now I select an edge here, <coughs> Alt C, with the count of 4 and uniform, drop the tool, I don't think I need this one. Now. I make a circle with eight sides, put it exactly to this location, make it about 10.5 by 10.5, not this one, and drop the tool. Now I can delete these polygons, hit the delete key, select the new one, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in once, shift click, bevel it in again and delete. Go to edge mode, select these edges and these edges, then go to edge bridge. <coughs> now I select all these polygons here, and paint select these here and these, invert the selection, hit the delete key. Okay, now we can start extruding because we have the main parts of the geometry. Perspective mode, select everything, hit the X key, bring it up a bit, drop the tool, go to side view, select the bottom polygons and delete them back to perspective. <coughs> now I can select these here and now let's wait with them. I start with these, shift up arrow, then shift click this one, paint select these two here and paint select this one here, hit the X key bring it up about like so. Deselect everything. Now I just select the inner ring here, hit the L key and the outer ring here, hit the X key again, X and bring it up about so. And these are and drop the tool, deselect all these polygons and hit the W key to bring the rest up a bit more. Drop the tool. Now I can start deleting what we don't need, which are all these polygons here. Hit delete key and all these here. Delete and now I can start hardening edges. First I go to edge mode, take the ones which are already there, hit the W key, bring that one up, W key and action center automatic and delete this one. <coughs> okay, next Alt C with a count of 2 and symmetry, about so, drop the tool, now can select this edge here, go to action center, origin again, hit the R key, green circle and bring this out about like so, drop the tool, select an edge in here, Alt C, count of 2, then go to edge mode, add loop, let me add a loop 
in here, drop the tool, now select these edges here, not that one, and up a row, then I hit the B key for bevel with a round level of 1, click in the viewport and bring this out a bit. Let's see how this starts looking, not so bad. Okay, another loop in here. I select edges here, here and here. Alt-C again, count of two, symmetry like so. Then another one in here, Alt-C, looks good. Alt-C here and a single loop in here. So let's see how this looks. That starts to look really nice. Okay, next thing is I will mirror this. Go to duplicate, mirror over the Y, apply, vertex merge. No vertices is merged, that's good. Then I go to top view, <coughs> duplicate radial array, count of three, and action center again, origin, click in the viewport, vertex, merge these words, automatic, 126, yeah, why not, perspective, and here we are. So let me get rid of the grid. Now I need to fix this here. I select all these edges here and delete them. Select this edge, Alt-C, make it about so. Drop the tool, go to poly mode, L key, then hit the R key, green circle, bring this in to about here, drop the tool, select edges in here, so this one, this one, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, Alt C, count of two, drop the tool, and now it's finished. Let's make a quick render with a nice material, the A key, so that looks pretty nice, right? The video is finished here, thanks very much for watching. I will keep this picture for some more minutes to make sure I can select the thumbnail uh, I would like to. Thanks again and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye, see you another time.